I recently came across a new or newish comic collecting supply that I'm excited about and I wanted to share it with you. So stay tuned for why I think this new short box from Gemini is a game changer. When Como hits the road for a convention, I can promise you one thing. We're gonna put some wear and tear on our comic boxes. Our boxes are moved no less than eight times per show and tears, rubs, bumps, and blown out handles are always one move away. In recent years, I've taken to reinforcing my new boxes with a generous helping of heavy duty packing tape to help prolong their lives. But the simple truth of the matter is that comic boxes are consumable goods. They have a service life and sooner or later, and in more recent times, it's been sooner, you have to rotate in new boxes. But with this new box, I think those problems may go the way of the dinosaur. Stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll share my new discount code for you that will save you 5% on your next Gemini order. So while on a recent trip down to Tulsa, my buddy Bob came across an ad for a new item from Gemini Comic Supply, the Thick Grip Storage Box. I'd seen the same ad a day or so before and he pulled the trigger on a bundle of the boxes so we could check them out. And that's what I've got here. This is the Thick Grip comic box from Gemini. And you may think it looks like a normal box, and at first glance it kind of does, except you can see right away it's got those really heavy duty handles. My first impression of the Gemini Thick Grip comic storage box is that it's aptly named. When you get this thing put together and go ahead and allow yourself a couple of extra minutes to assemble this thing at first, because it's not your everyday run of the mill short box, you're left with a short box that has eaten its Wheaties. The cardboard is seemingly thicker than what you'll tend to find in a standard short box and the beefier stock and the fact that each end of the box is three layers deep of this same reinforced cardboard, it gives you an unusually rigid short box that is noticeably heftier than its peers. The lid rests right at the top of the box handles, so when you grab the box, you have a handful of cardboard in your grip, and with the higher positioning of the handles, you can really use your thumbs to lock down the lid uh, and have a truly secure hold on the box. As you can see here, this is by far the most comfortable box to lift and hold that I've ever seen or that I've encountered to date. And I just, I really feel like you, you get a good grip on it with the higher positioning of the handles. Moving the handle further up the box makes it much easier to get a secure and comfortable grip compared to a standard comic box. And when you're moving dozens of boxes at a time, every bit of strain or awkwardness you can avoid pays dividends. But one of my favorite things about the design of this box is that the annoying seam you find inside the back of a standard box is eliminated. It's truly the small things in life, everyone, because I probably shouldn't be so excited about something this simple, but that seam, which I typically like to position to the back of the box, is my nemesis because I usually don't think to look for it until I've got the box about three quarters full and 90% of the time I've got it at the front and I have to flip everything around and it drives me crazy. So with this box not having that, I'm on cloud nine. But here is why this box is the MVP on my comic rack. It securely holds gold and silver sized my lights and full back boards. If you're like me, your best raw books all get the Gerber treatment, my light twos and full back boards. If you collect gold and silver age books, chances are you may use this silver and gold size and have had to settle on storing them in a magazine box, which is what I've done. And while they do fit in the mag box, there's a lot of excess room in the box for the books to shift or slide around in. While in this new box, the books fit closely, but still move freely without really seeming to be squeezed in. Additionally, there isn't a bunch of open air at the top of the box like there is with a magazine box. It really is like this box was specifically designed to house books in this exact bag and board. In fact, the thick grip storage box is nearly an inch narrower than the standard magazine sized box, which is just enough space savings that it's the difference between getting four boxes per shelf on my storage rack while using magazine boxes versus being able to get five boxes per shelf using this thick grip Gemini box. Now, 
it's not all sunshine and rainbows with this guy. And here are a couple of the issues that I see with the box. First off, the way it's designed, there's not a solid piece of cardboard or bottom that runs the length of the box. There's two tabs that compose the bottom of the storage area and they meet in the middle and they leave a slight gap at the bottom. This gap could likely cause a book to catch and it could potentially damage a book if it gets caught in the gap while you're sliding a bunch of books across it. I think you could fairly easily resolve this issue by laying a backing board or something similar in the bottom of the box, but there's also the potential for that to become an obstacle while you're sliding books around the box as well. But I'd view it as a lesser evil when compared to the larger gap of just the box by itself. If you don't do a lot of shuffling your collection around or you're just careful, then this might be a non-issue for you. Secondly, this is a premium storage solution in my opinion. This is a box that appears to be extremely well built with the potential to have a substantially longer shelf life than a standard storage box. But the catch is it's priced like a premium storage solution that's made of a noticeably higher quality material. If you order a single box at the time of recording this video, it's gonna cost you $14.95. However, there is a bulk discount if you order a bundle of five for $54.95, and that drops the cost of each individual box down to about $10.99 a piece. Depending on the prices your LCS is currently charging, this may well be within a dollar or so of what you would pay for a standard size short box. If short boxes aren't your thing, uh, don't worry. The thick grip storage box is also available in long box size where a single box with a lid will cost you $17.95 and a bundle of five can be had for $64.95. Due to supply chain issues, cardboard products in general have greatly increased in price. So the gap between the price and value is quite narrow right now between a standard comic box in one of these higher end storage boxes. Honestly, I think this box is a must have for anyone who utilizes e-Gerber's silver and gold MyLights for their comic collection. If you're not using those bags and boards or a similarly sized product, and you're not moving your comic collection around much, then the thick grip box may not be for you. But if you're looking for a stronger, better built box compared to your standard issue comic or magazine box, then definitely head over to Gemini Comic Supply and check out the Thick Grip Comic Storage Box. I've added a link to Gemini down in the description, and if you use that link and make a purchase, it helps support the channel. Also, if you use the code COMOCOMICS, one word all smashed together, you'll save 5% on your order. If you're looking for additional comic book content, then check out one of these videos right over here. Don't forget to collect responsibly, and I'll see you in the next one.